Hey guys, this is Random Greymane here, and I just wanted a quick uh, wanted to go over the standing desk I made. It's not uh, easily adjustable, but it is extremely solid and made with a shelving unit that I already had, and some uh, add-on wood that was actually easy to purchase and uh, inexpensive. So, what you're looking at right now is the uh, work desk that I have, okay, which is my uh, five monitor desk. Yes, I know the one monitor is freaking out. Uh, it's having gamma issues. But uh, this is my daily driver, okay, complete with the backlit keyboard. I usually have the lights off, and uh, as you can see, I have uh, the great ceiling lighting of Christmas lights. You know, holiday lights in the ceiling um, because of my eyes. It reduces glare when I shut off the uh, outside lighting and or the uh, main lighting and run by just the monitors and the Christmas lights. So, regardless, um, this is the standing desk that I made. Okay, uh, it is made from a standard four foot wide by um, by eighty inch. You know, pretty much the full height. Uh, wire rack shelving that you have and I played around and I adjusted the height of the one shelf and added the uh, the uh, MDF okay height in it and you'll see that there's two pieces of MDF and then I've got a little cover sheet of uh, what uh, what used to be called melamine or whatever it is uh, it's it's press board on top of it just to protect the surface because I don't have anything but the MDF in there. The MDF itself was in just an entire sheet of uh, inexpensive half, di half inch MDF cut to specifications and uh, because I cut it and had them do it the right way I ended up with multiple sheets that I could use two for the the main surface and one for the shelf below and if you see if you look that's what I've got below. So I've got one shelf for holding stuff, uh, including the laptop, which I'm running all five of those monitors off of. Um, the laptop itself and the docking station runs three of them, and two of them run on USB uh, EVGA uh, video cards. And then all my uh, standard tools and my messy recycling bin, all there um, on the, uh, the wheels and so forth, so I can move it around as needed. The only thing connecting to the wall is a power strip and uh, the network cabling because I'm hardwired. And uh, you'll see I have the the inexpensive foam sheets there or foam uh, mats there to stand on. I moved to this because I was spending entirely too much time in the chair, and uh, that's exactly what's going on here. Um, give me a second, and we'll take a close up of some of the stuff and how it's created or how it's hooked together, since I didn't do a build video. Okay, we're looking at the bottom half of uh, the thing here. If you'll notice, I have these bolts with heavy washers. These are actually carriage bolts. If you looked at the top, there's a rounded thing, a rounded head of the bolt, so that uh, it doesn't really catch on anything. And these have wide washers on them that screw or that uh, fasten the MDF to the wire uh, shelving. And you'll see I've got one in the back there. There's four of them total on this sheet. You'll also see that the uh, pull is set to go right through the, uh, the MDF. I will tell you that you have to measure like four times and cut once because uh, I didn't quite get it right. You'll notice that there's a, a bit of a gap, you know, a bit of a difference there between the sheets. All right, but uh, I know you guys, and you guys can do better. Uh, if you're wondering what the clamp is in the background, that is actually holding the monitor leg or the monitor base to the MDF um, so that I can roll it around without a, a problem. The other monitors are either clamped or uh, the two verticals in the one corner are set on a pole, an actual physical mounting pole with uh, monitors. Eventually the monitors are going to be set on monitor arms. Um, those are expensive, so I, I can't afford them yet. But that is uh, that is how those are attached right now, and you can see my messy cable management behind all this. Okay, um, and what you don't see is up and behind everything else is a uh, or down below everything else actually back here is a battery backup unit 
that is, uh, you know, you would think you wouldn't need that with a, a laptop, but I do need it for the monitors so that I can shut down my, uh, my software and so forth if we have power outages, which we do have outages every now and then. Uh, but honestly, um, if you have these wire rack shelves, and many people do, you can easily create this without uh, too much effort. I was able to do it in the manner of uh, about a day, okay, and you know the parts, I believe the parts cost me you know about uh, 20 bucks for the entire MDF sheet which I had custom cut at the big box store and then you know about 15 bucks worth of bolts and washers and so forth and uh, again I had it constructed within a day and it's all squared, uh, squared away and, and works great. Um, at some point I will probably put a hook into the concrete in the wall in the back uh, as I renovate this place and fasten it you know, to a, uh, a chain or something so that this can't tip. Uh, there is really no danger of it tipping. It's, it's actually quite stable. Okay, and if you have a, a smooth floor surface to roll on, which uh, these foam things, I do not, it doesn't even have an issue where it wobbles at all. Um, it just rolls smoothly. So, one sec here. Okay, and uh, we're back in the normal spot here. Um, you don't even actually have to buy the MDF, okay? You do have to buy the bolts or at least some clamps. And here, let me show you something. Um, I apologize for the mess, but here's the second one I'm working on. Yes, I have toy guns hanging on it. And uh, I'm moving this. This is going to be double-sided here. The uh, gaming machine and my, my personal workstation machine is going to be on the one half where my uh, maintenance machine is on this side. Okay, but that is literally the top of a desk that I cut, um, you know, that I, I drilled holes in. And yes, they are messy holes. Uh, I am not a woodworker by trade. I'm an IT guy. But uh, literally, I, it's not even bolted to the desk. Um, it's using clamps to hold it down. And it'll have three monitors on the other side, and it will eventually have the same carriage bolts. But at this point it's really really simple to reuse a a desk that I had that had broken legs on it okay and I, I cut the I cut the desktop to fit okay and it works flawlessly it's very very solid yeah. uh, again it's on the same sort of uh, shelving with wheels so I can move it around and it's the perfect height to use as a standing desk it's not easily adjustable like those fancy electric desks but it is made out of things I had around here, and uh, it's in really, you know, a, really a stellar layout for me. And uh, you know, this is an inexpensive way to go if you already have the materials, okay, and you need to get up and, and moving. Um, I have issues where I have to burn off the calories. Uh, I have glucose issues, but you know, other than that, it's a uh, you know, it's just something that's healthier for you, okay? And I'm not saying that, that sitting is, you know, is bad for you, okay? There's a lot to be said for sitting peacefully. But, you know, when you have to burn those calories off and you have to work, um, you know, it really, it'll make a difference standing up. Um, you'll eventually have some of the same things that retail workers get where they have to stand all day. But you get used to it, okay? So there it is. Those are my two standing desks. I apologize for the mess. They are in process. And uh, like everything else in my life, doing the best I can with it. Later.